everyone, I'm Maxine, and welcome to Maxine Art's first ever episode of Heart to Art Talks. Today, I'm going to share to you... Today, we're going... Today... Bruh. One eternity later. Today's talk is all about knowing your worth. Ano nga ba ang worth mo as an artist, and ano ang worth ng craft mo? This quarantine, we all know that everyone is trying their best to cope up with the situation. Some are privileged enough to have their art materials, to pursue their passion, to learn new things. But however, for some other people, or should I say the poorest of the poor, some are coping up with the situation very hard because they live on a they live in survive on a daily basis. But today the topic is about art. It's all about knowing your worth as an artist. Key point number one. Let's talk about prices. Ano nga ba ang presyohan ng isang art person? Giving an overview on how I price my works. I usually price my works based on the output itself, not the time not how long I spent doing that work. So I saw this meme on the internet. It's not actually a meme. It's a comic strip that I've read. So the conversation went like this. Mary is a client and is an artist. That artist is trying to sell his work. It's actually like a commission. Now the client questioned the artist, Bakit kita babayaran ng malaki? Kung 10 minutes mo lang naman ginawa yan. Ang sagot ng artist, I spent 10 years to learn how to do this in 10 minutes. Wow! So, anong lesson dun? Struggle as an artist is, it's hard for them to make understand how precious. Precious. And how valuable our artwork is. So, imagine I spent 10 hours, 20 hours, Four weeks, one year, over a freaking piece. Wow. Wow! So, yeah, back to the topic is knowing your price. Knowing your price is not actually the first thing to know. Eh. It's about knowing yourself. It's about knowing how much effort you've put into that work. Not just into that work, you've put into yourself just to learn that skill. For example, architects. Sasabihin nila, napakadali lang ng architecture. Oh, no, no. Denied. That's actually something na very good to say. Architects take five years plus two years apprenticeship. Then hahanapan mo lang sila ng libre in design. Oh, no, no, no. Denied. It's better to price your artworks based on the output itself. You can estimate how much your materials are, and that actually would be the second huh? point. Mm. point number two. Today, I'm going to share to you some of my art materials and how much they actually cost. So, range. Ito na mga presyo nila. Din akong journal, which is worth ching 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 around 400 pesos. Ching ching ching. It's a watercolor journal, and don't call it. Now, let's talk about your birth. Ayun ay. Your birth may 
I actually reflect on the materials you're Your worth is not about uh, Your worth is not just about yourself. It's about what surrounds you. Ano yung mga bagay na tumutulong sa yo to have that kind of output. Ano yung mga bagay na ginagamit mo to have that kind of output. Ano yung mga bagay na pinagkagastusan mo to have that kind of output. Key point number two is all about your investment. Ano yung mga bagay na binili mo? Ano yung mga bagay na pinaghirapan mo to make that kind of output? What are your materials? How did you buy those materials? Diba? So that's key point number two. So yun na, key point number three is all about labor. Ikaw lang nakakaalam gaano mo katagal ginawa yan. Ikaw lang ang nakakaalam kung paano mo pinaghirapan yan. Ikaw lang ang nakakaalam kung ano-ano mga breakdown ang pinagdaanan mo para lang magawa ang piyesang yan. Ikaw lang ang makakaalam kung gaano mong kadrain daw utak mo just to come up with that kind of concept. At ikaw lang makakaalam kung anong tunay na story behind your artwork. Tapos mag-aas lang sila ng Before my heart to art talk ends, I want to give an advice for artists and non-artists. My advice to non-artists is, it's not just how you see it, but it's how you look into it. Hindi lahat ng nakikita mo ay yun na yun. It's about looking deeper into that picture. Ano nga bang pinagdaanan ng artist just to have that kind of artwork? So, usually kasi we all see the output itself, but we don't know the story behind that canvas, di ba? So, my advice for artists out there, always know your worth. Yan ang topic for today, knowing your worth. And, huwag kayong mahihiya na sabihin kung anong worth nyo. Don't be afraid to express yourself through art. Don't be afraid to tell them kung ano yung worth ng gawa mo. You worked for it. That's why it has its own worth. And dito na magtatapos ang episode 1 ng Heart to Art Talks. And if you have some other topics that we can talk about, I'm willing to share anything. I'm willing to share my insights about the topic. I hope you learned from this episode. Uh, ayun na. Know your worth.